We're at the height of the party season and if you're dressed to impress, hair also forms part of the overall look. To get the latest on hair care and styling, Priya met up with a specialist on all things natural. Long hair is back with more and more celebrities rocking the style. But flowing tresses come with hair care challenges, so I sought some expert advice. Anisha, how are you? Good. Welcome to Midori. And I definitely want to see what you can do with hair for 2017. Shall we go chat? Yes, let's go through. This year, hairstyles have really taken a whole new form. When it comes to colours, cuts, styles, it's sort of an art. And this has got me thinking about my New Year's Eve look. And I really like this one, Anisha. What are we expecting for New Year's this year? New Year's Eve is very out there, very outrageous hair. Hair accessories, feathers in your hair, long length with curls, brighter, more primary colours are in as well for the New Year. Are we going to be seeing longer hair? The longer the better. We're actually going from 26 to 28 inches now. Wow. Um, even longer. In ancient Indian texts, there's lots of reference to women wearing luxurious dresses and having long, luscious hair. And you can see it in India today as well, especially in Bollywood, where stars have become famous for their long, luxurious locks. I mean, look at Priyanka Chopra. I watch her all the time on TV and she's got beautiful, bold hair. Who else should we be looking out for? Uh, famous Rihanna. She loves experimenting and we love seeing what's new on her hair. Are we seeing South Africans experimenting and being adventurous with their hair? Yes, our South Africans are in the forerun. We love experimenting with hair, especially with brighter colours. And that's what we're going to see in the future for the new year. It all sounds so exciting and I know you are a hair extension expert. Shall we go see what you can do? Yes, sure. Hello. <laughs> So we would consult with the client as to whether she'd like a conventional colour. So if a client prefers a lighter blonde, we can then match it to her hair. She wants a, a balayage preference or look. Then we do the blondes at the tips. We then have the brighter colours. Speaking about the colourful hair, I definitely want to give it a try. Sure. How's orange? Very dairy. But bold? Yeah, I think that's a little too daring for me. Let's go something a little more subtle. It's I see. Popular colour as well. I definitely like it. So you said that it's very important to start nourishing your hair even before you look at getting extension. The hair has to be in good condition prior to putting an extension on. You use natural Indian hair in your extensions and Indian hair has this history to it of being very healthy, very shiny and that's due to things like amla oil being passed down from generation to generation and becoming a culture within Indian hair. Do you see that quality still coming through in the Indian hair you use in your extension? Yes, actually the Indian hair is a better quality hair for us. The oils do help enhance the hair as well and keep the condition. So where would you start in terms of nourishment? We start with food for the hair that we recommend to the client, which nourishes the hair, the root of the hair as well. How do you start that nourishment process? Basically we do it on the scalp, on dry hair. Take a bit of the hair food and so we just rub it into the scalp just to make sure that it's absorbed by the scalp. So how long would you keep that in for? A lot of clients prefer to leave it through overnight. Or you can wash it out with the condition, uh, shampoo and conditioner. So a nice nourishment overnight and then a clean wash in the morning. Just to keep your, your scalp in good condition prior to putting an extension. Well, Anisha, thank you so much for giving me a bit of insight into the hair trends of 2017. And now I can go into the new year nourished. You're very welcome. Thanks for being our model. So you're happy with that? So it looks like 2017 is going to be bold and colourful with structured cuts or that beautiful, long, luscious hair. But the most important thing I learned today is you need to look after your hair. It needs to be healthy, shiny and most importantly, nourished. So as you go into 2017, make sure that you look after your hair.